Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but here's another daily routine video to show you guys any changes I've made, especially since it has been a year since the last routine video. So today, I'll show you my super babies or my star babies, also known as the Indian star tortoises. But this time, this time, oh, this time, it'll only be at two times the speed, low, not six times, so y'all won't be dizzy. Hope you enjoy! No, I did not wake up at 5 a.m. today. It's currently around 9 in the morning. So come on, let's get the baby's day started. This is Luna, looking beautiful as ever. Every single day, I spot check everybody to ensure that everyone is in good health. And if there are any issues, I make sure to write them down to start tracking the day-to-day -day changes. Here is Nova, my beautiful Nova. She is the slowest grower of them all. But that's okay, no rush. Slow and steady is the bestest. Okay, we're gonna have to switch over to the other side because Gemini is scooched inside that tree. Let's go fish him out. In case you guys didn't notice, nothing has changed in their setup. Even their substrate is a little over a year old. Yeah, it's been a year since I've set the enclosure up and I've not done a complete clean out yet. As long as the daily spot cleaning and sanitation is done, it will help their home look and smell good. It will also help keep them healthy. Oh wow, Jemmy. Okay, the leg. Now it's time to make their breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So here, we have Arcadia's Optimized 52 Freshly Pressed Tortoise Food. And then we also have Zoomed's Lizard Flower Food Topper. And I'm just adding some warm water here to get them nicely hydrated. Look at the Optimized 52 blow up. So awesome. Then we add a drizzle of Zoomed's Repticalcium without D3. Today's salad croutons is their favorite commercial pellet, the Gardi's Premium Tortoise Food. Their special once in a blue moon produce is a leaf of curly kale. And then we go do chop chop, I mean cut cut. Once all the cutting is done, we get started on mixing them all. Let's add in the kale. Ta-da! Then we add in my homegrown grass mix of timothy, rye, and wheat. Once the grasses have reached a height of about 6 inches, I start to harvest them before they die or dry up. It happens, let me tell you. I cut them into shorter strands and keep them nicely refrigerated. And now, the shaking starts. This is literally my morning workout, by the way. So come and shake with me! Oh, by the way, you might think this amount of food is way too much for three tiny tortoises. Don't worry, this is shared with everybody. Tortoises and lizards, okay? Also, I decided to add a special little treat for them. Now, let's go check on the babies. Oh my god, wow Nova. So you just chilling like a villain, huh? But we gotta go! As you guys can see, they don't always poop in the water. They poop wherever and whenever they want. Good thing is, their poop is always dark and firm. It's always so easy to clean. They never smell. They never leave any poopy mess. Now that it's time for washi washi, we gotta make sure that the water is warm. That way, they are more comfortable. And then we go brushy brushy! By the way guys, the number one tip to keep a healthy, clean, and shiny looking tortoise shell is to stay away from anything but your good old water and brush.
All right, it's time to dry up so that we can finally eat. Let's go, Luna. Excuse the mess here. Let's just say we're in the middle of transitioning. Here comes Jemmy. And then there's Nova. Luna's gonna be a little late. She decided to do a little poopy in the tissue. But here she is. Okay, so let's talk a bit about their setup. Their enclosure has a gradient of 80 degrees Fahrenheit from the cool side, getting warmer and warmer up to about 100 degrees Fahrenheit in the basking area. Their humidity also has a gradient of about 85 to 90 percent on the cool side, down to 60 to 70 percent in the basking area. So because the door is open, the temp and the humidity are currently down, but a few minutes after we close it, it should go back up to the correct parameters. So it's no problem. Oh, it looks like Nova is ready to take a nap. Look at that cute butt. Alright guys, it's about time we leave them alone for now. We'll just check on them later. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Is there anybody there? Of course there is. That's Nova. She's awake. And that is Jemmy. And hi Luna. Looks like they just be chilling out here. We'll come back later. Oh, another cute butt. What's going on? So funny. This is Gemini. I guess maybe he's getting his exercise. Let's go close in on him. Hey, Jemmy. Come. Jemmy, come. Come here. Hi. Hi, baby. Did you have a good nap? Hmm? Hi. I'm right here. Come. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Jemmy. Come here. Come. This way. Wanna come eat? Hmm. <laughs> he loves chasing my hand around. Come here. Hi, baby. Okay. He knows what's up. Alrighty. You do your thing. He's probably gonna bask and then gonna eat. Hey, Jemmy. He sees me again. All right, who's basking? Luna is basking. Nova is gonna go take a nap again, I think. And that's how much food that's left. Looks like the kale is gone. Jemmy. No, no, no. Come here. This way. Come this way. This way. Alright, no more games. No more games. He wants to eat my fingers. Don't you? Okay. <laughs> it's time to clean. And that is basically the day, guys. Basking lights are out and the rest will turn off at 7 p.m. As you can see here, I'm just picking up whatever I could see. For cleaning, I use Dawn antibacterial soap when washing their decor or water and food bowls. Good night, Jenny. I don't replenish their water after cleaning because their bowl fills up with fresh water overnight from the fogger drips. Once everything is nice and clean, I sanitize everything. 
So for cleaning all enclosures, I use the F10 Veterinary Disinfectant. It is safe for all animals and it also helps prevent and or treat some infections. Thanks for watching!